Hi everybody, this is Cynthia. Um, I am so excited to show you my new scrapbook room. It took me a very long time to get it like this. Um, I had wallpaper on the wall and it took me four solid days to get the wallpaper off. So um, that's what took me so long to make the decision to finally do this. But nevertheless, it is done and I'm really excited. My husband is out of town. When he left, it had wallpaper on and when he comes home, this is what he's going to see. So I did all this myself. Um, this is my new scrapbook room. Very excited about it. So let me show you some things. Um, these are my punches. Um, somebody from the Cricut message board had had this posted and I just thought it was brilliant. It's cheap. It cost me like 10 bucks to do it. And um, I just love it. These are my brand new curtains. I love them. I bought them at Target. They were 84 inches and I just sewed them. I shortened them so that they would fit well. Um, and then some more punches my memory making cabinets that are just filled with skittles and stickles and buttons and all that kind of stuff and then up here um, I went to Target and I got those frames and I just cut out um, from home decor and home accents and it goes really well by the way do you see that black strip across the top it's ribbon yeah um, it looks great doesn't it so for 10 bucks, I put a black border up. These are my uh, paper racks that I absolutely love. I got them years ago. They were like $100 each. Um, I couldn't even tell you where I got them from, but they're fantastic. And my stamp racks. My husband did that for me. Aren't they beautiful? He put trim and everything. He's really too good to me. Um, I put together, some of you may remember, 47 of these boxes that I got for 55% off at Black Friday sale. And um, my new wood floor, which by the way, I put in. Yeah, that was not fun. Uh, just some cuddle bug stuff. More stamps. Here is, I love this ribbon rack that my husband made for me. Uh, it was wasted space up there and so he made that for me and I just love it because it just adds so much it's just beautiful I love it and then here's my closet this was the first thing we actually did when I took over this room when we put on the addition up at the top you'll see um, all of my books those books up there are actually crochet and knitting patterns because I crochet and knit which was my very first craft love my mom taught me when I was really young and then in here um, are all my completed albums. That's all completed. This is how I store my patterned paper now. Um, I separate them and it's fantastic because if I need a blue polka dot paper, I just go to polka dots. Hey, there's polka. And um, boom, there it is. This is how I store my scraps fantastic um, I never just go get a piece of paper I always start by looking in my um, scraps and this is how I store my acrylics my acrylic stamps I'm sorry and my unmounted stamps in these books and this is um, my stamping up sets I label them so I can find them very easily and I actually catalog every time I buy a new set I catalog them into a binder so that I can just go to my Stamping Up book and um, look at images and whatnot. See, here's where my Stamping Up image book is. And more handmade papers and um, storage and just some books to idea books and whatnot. And this is how I store my um, Cricut cartridges. Um, so they're easy to find. I separate them by images or fonts. I don't own that many fonts anymore. I sold like 10 of my fonts after I got um, Shortcuts a lot. Love that program, love it. More storage over here. Now, let me tell you about this table. My husband made this table for me um, just two weeks ago. And um, 
I love it. It is very well protected. It has the, um, what is that called? Plexiglass. And down here is even more storage. This is actually where I put most of my cards for soldiers stuff. Um, cause I have stacks, stacks and stacks of envelopes and stuff like that, um, that I purchase in like thousands at a time because that makes them inexpensive and there's the sleeves for it. And I can quickly show you, this is a happy room. I love this. Um, I can quickly show you just, the, you know, some more storage. It's basically, um, you know, flowers in there and more ribbons, um, you know, chipboards. I keep all my chipboard. I use a lot of chipboards still. I really do because there's a lot of really cool things that you can do with them. Um, I really do. And then over here is where I keep all my stamping stuff. So wheels and just um, stamping accessories and my ink refills and embossing powders, that kind of stuff. So still have some dyes. My spell binders, dyes, and stuff like that. Uh, these are all my ink pads and more ink pads. That type of thing. And this is all my coloring. Um, I think having to do with coloring is here. My cat's eyes, my watercolors, my chalks, that kind of stuff. So, basically, that is my room in a nutshell. I am really excited about it. It's a really happy place. <laughs> My daughter calls it Utopia. Anyway, so um, this is my very first video and it's messy, I know, but I really wanted to share my new scrapbook room. So I hope you all enjoyed my quick little tour. Have a great day. Bye.